Hi friends, Lindsay here from Diary of a Homeschool Mama, and today I wanted to do a flip through of The Story of the World, Volume 1. Um, we are using Build Your Library, but this is the spine of the level one that we're doing. So it kind of works out perfectly because I did purchase this first with the intention of just using this, and then when I found Build Your Library um, and all the extra books that comes with and stuff, I wanted to do that because then I don't have to plan it all out myself, which is kind of what I was doing, and it was a lot of work. So um, I did say that I would do a full flip through of this, um, and I will do a full review of this as well at the end, as long or as well as doing a full review of Build Your Library. So I'm going to go ahead and dive in and show you everything that comes with Story of the World and all of that. So first we have just the um, storybook, and it, um, it goes from the earliest nomads to the last Roman emperor. And it's set up just like a novel, um, but it's broken down into sections. So like chapter one has two different sections. Um, some of them have three and four different sections. Um, so it goes from the first nomads and then it stops at, um, it looks like it stops at the end of Rome. So, and, um, let me go ahead and get to the first chapter and I'll show you kind of how long the reading is. So for the first section of chapter one, you're just reading this, this page and this, and then, um, moving on to the next section. So about a page and a half. Some are longer than that and some are shorter. Um, it just depends. But that is the storybook part. And then this is the activity book. Now this activity book isn't a part of Build Your Library, but a lot of the activities in Build Your Library kind of correlate with what's in the activity book and like the worksheets and the maps and stuff that are in Build Your Library, so I won't have to print anything for the Build Your Library. I'll just use the worksheets and maps out of here. And then with Story of the World, you can also get tests, um, but we didn't, I didn't do that because I don't feel that I need to test um, my youngest for history right now. Um, we don't really test at all, honestly, with either of my kids. Um, that's not to say that we're like against it or that we won't ever do it because we probably will, but right now we just don't do it. But anyway, so you go into the activity book and it shows you all the chapters and it shows you everything that you'll need through the chapter as far as the different activities go. And then here is a how to use this activity book section. And this is really cool. It's a pronunciation guide, and this is really helpful for me because sometimes I need help pronouncing things, <laughs> and some books don't have that. Like when we were using um, Knotgrass last year with my young or with my oldest, um, there was no help with pronunciation. Like you know, some books will have the parentheses of like how it sounds. I didn't have that, so sometimes I really butchered some words. Uh, here's my cat Thor. Hi, buddy. Okay. Um, anyway, so here is the introduction. And then going into chapter one, we have... This is really cool because we have encyclopedia cross-references. So if we wanted to use encyclopedias with it, but since we're doing Build Your Library, we already kind of have um, everything that goes with that along with this, so we don't really need that. Um, and then it has review questions for each section, a narration exercise... And um, then it goes into additional history reading, which are books that you could check out at like the library. Um, and then more literature suggestions. And then here we have the map work. We have coloring pages, which are good for um, when I'm actually reading it. He can go ahead and color um, because sometimes it's hard for him to sit still through reading. So um, I figure he can go ahead and do those coloring pages then. And then we have all the activity projects. Here it has um, to make a cave painting. We have um, make a prehistoric hunter's game bag, which is really cool. Um, build your own hut. There's tons and tons of cool projects in here. So 
when we're doing build your library if there isn't enough hands-on stuff like one week or something I can go in here and pick another thing for us to do so I have a plethora of projects to pick from now which is exactly what I wanted um, but with build your library this whole it's all laid out for me um, I don't have to really go in and pick anything extra because she does include a lot of hands-on stuff but there are some weeks where the history um, isn't as much as other weeks like some weeks there will only be like three days of history so if I want to have five days of history I can go in and just pick like another project to go to add in or something like that which is really awesome um, and then we're moving into chapter two I'm not really gonna show this um, I might show some of the other projects though, like here in chapter three, um, the activity is why do clay tablets last longer than paper? Um, show you some more projects, make a chicken mummy, which I don't know if that's something that we will do cause that sounds kind of gross. Um, making scented oil. I mean, just so many projects, sand cube step pyramid. Um, a Sumerian seal, let's see, um, make Joseph's coat of many colors, make your own law code, make a temple, I mean there's so much stuff in here. Um, there's drawing projects, there's a writing project, complete your own fairy tale, which he would not be ready for that yet, but I mean, so many awesome projects for all ages, so I love that. And then, let me go back here to show you the worksheets and stuff that are included in this. So here is the map answer key, which is something that I definitely need. Um, I'm not very good at geography. I'm I know the seven continents and I know the United States, but other than that, I'm kind of, um, you know, just not that good at it, but I'm learning with my kids. So here are the student pages. Um, so see, this is, you know, more than enough as far as student pages go, which is why I didn't really print the student pages that go with build your library because it was mostly maps and stuff too. So here are the maps uh, I'm just gonna kind of do a quick flip through of this and then here is some student pages um, we have word searches all kinds of stuff back here here's like a comic thing a comic strip um, coloring pages Just all kinds of stuff. Here is a mask of King Tut. Um, there's tons of coloring pages, which I like for this age. I don't know how well that would work for older kids because I have heard some people say that like the activity book is more geared towards younger kids. Um, and I kind of agree with that in some aspects, but I think it's really cool that all the mapping and stuff comes with it as well. Um, here's a Greek alphabet thing to do and yeah so I mean there's tons of stuff in here to do and I just love it so I will definitely be giving my full review at the end of the year or sometime at some point of the story of the world volume one and I will give my full review of course of build your library and everything else that we're using as well so I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through of story of the world volume one and I will see you in my next video